What's up everybody welcome to another camera comparison video today I have this OnePlus 10 Pro, Oppo Find X5 Pro and Xiaomi 12 Pro. Well I actually had to take all the photos and reshoot all the video clips of this video two times because I have prepared one camera comparison video last week and then both the OnePlus 10 Pro and Oppo Find X5 Pro got a new update. So I had to redo this video because I always want to provide you with updated and the correct information. I want my videos to be more helpful rather than entertaining because I know some people would make purchasing decisions based on comparison videos. Well, at the beginning, let me tell you that all the photos are taken in auto mode, AI was enabled, HDR was set to auto because most of the people, they don't use pro mode. I mean, the general users, they just uh, click on the camera application and start shooting photos. If you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. On YouTube, subscription is free, so please support true content. Okay, before we start the video, a few moments for the sponsor of this video, Unitech. I have been using Unitech USB 3.1 Gen 2 NVMe SSD enclosure for a while now. I think this is one of the best NVMe SSD enclosure because this one offers a very fast data transfer rate and this one comes with extra heatsink which offers better thermal performance. If you are looking for an affordable but a very good quality SATA and NVMe SSD enclosure, then you should check this one. Well, it's time to start our camera comparison video between Oppo Find X5 Pro, Xiaomi 12 Pro and OnePlus 10 Pro. What's up everybody, welcome to another camera comparison video. Today I have this Xiaomi 12 Pro, Oppo Find X5 Pro and OnePlus 10 Pro. Okay, straightforward, Xiaomi 12 Pro has done better. I mean, it has rendered my skin tone correctly, colors are almost correct. Okay, I don't want to talk about OnePlus 10 Pro selfie camera. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised to see that uh, Oppo Find X5 Pro selfie camera is uh, doing well. But Xiaomi 12 Pro has more details. Altogether, you decide which one is better. Also, listen carefully which smartphone microphone has worked better. Which smartphone noise cancellation performance is better than the other? Check all these carefully and let me know in the comment section below. Well, none of these brands have ever sent me with any review units. I really want to get review units because it's very difficult to get all these smartphones very quickly after these smartphones get released. But most of the brands, they don't like me because I don't want to lie. I am not going to be a puppet for any brand. If you check carefully, then you may understand which people are the brand puppets. Like anytime this brand releases a smartphone, within five minutes, there will be nice, superb, amazing review videos. This phone is so great. When Oppo releases a smartphone, there will be someone like, uh, some videos will pop up like, wow, this is the best smartphone. I'm not gonna say those things. I'm not gonna do those type of reviews. <laughs> anyway. If you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. It's time to flip to the rear cameras, but before that, you want to check stabilization of the selfie camera, right? Let's do that. Oh. It's a very cold. What do you think? I still believe Xiaomi 12 Pro has done better. Yeah, I will prefer Xiaomi 12 Pro if I have to choose one among any of these three for selfie videos. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any... I always try to provide my viewers with the correct information. As a tech reviewer, I actually don't have any favorite brand. Any brand that performs or offers better value for money is my favorite brand. All these photos are taken in auto mode. HDR was set to auto, AI was enabled on all of the devices and all the photos are straight out of the smartphones. Okay, let me be clear. Oppo color grading in daytime photos are better. It's almost true to life. While OnePlus 10 Pro color grading is more like social media ready. Xiaomi 12 Pro stays in between. Sometimes it's eye pleasing, sometimes it's a bit flat. In terms of detail and texture processing, Xiaomi 12 Pro is way ahead of the other two. In rare occasions, Oppo and OnePlus have managed to process a lot of detail, but in general, Xiaomi 12 Pro is better. Shadow detail and dynamic range is almost similar in all of these three smartphones. 
but sometimes Oppo Find X5 Pro color temperature goes warmer. No matter what type of ambient light is there, Xiaomi has kept it cold. Let's check some 5 times zoom photos. At 5 times zoom, both the OnePlus and Oppo has done better than Xiaomi. Xiaomi 12 Pro comes with a 50 megapixel sensor but lacks OIS. Oppo Find X5 Pro comes with a 13 megapixel sensor and also lacks OIS, but as Oppo Find X5 Pro offers hybrid 5 times zoom, it seems they have optimized the software for better performance. OnePlus 10 Pro comes with a 8 megapixel sensor tagged to a lens which offers 3.3 times optical zoom and comes with OIS. Generally, OnePlus 10 Pro has delivered better 5 times daytime zoom photos. It has more detail with sharper textures, wider dynamic range, better shadow detail and natural color grading. Sometimes Oppo Find X5 Pro comes close but it's not enough to beat OnePlus 10 Pro. Even if at a glance, all of these three look similar, if you really take a while and check carefully, you will find the differences. All of these three comes with a 50 megapixel sensor for ultra wide photos. But Oppo Find X5 Pro comes with a flagship class Sony IMX766 sensor for ultra wide photos. Oppo Find X5 Pro has the narrowest FOV as per specifications. However, I don't see much of a difference in real life. Occasionally, Oppo Find X5 Pro has grabbed more detail, but other than that, I actually find nothing better in Oppo Find X5 Pro ultra wide photos. After checking a lot of photos, I am convinced there is not much of a difference in terms of quality. It totally goes down to personal preferences. To some people, this is the most important segment. Personally, I take a lot of photos of my friends. At the beginning, I must mention these are the toughest backgrounds to process. Harsh spotlights, crazy ambient light, altogether it's not easy for any flagship smartphones. After checking almost 30 photos, Oppo Find X5 Pro has faster shutter speed and better exposure, and almost natural color rendition. OnePlus 10 Pro this time falls far behind with mediocre performance. Beauty effect along with overprocessing is an issue, it's there in all of these three smartphones. None of these have managed to process photos with correct skin tone, but Xiaomi 12 Pro has surprised me with the best skin tone and a lot of detail. Other than that yellow skin tone, which makes the subject a bit ugly, awkward, I would say Oppo Find X5 Pro has done very good. Xiaomi 12 Pro comes second, but the problem is Oppo Find X5 Pro costs 1.5 times more than Xiaomi 12 Pro. I don't think this performance justifies its price tag. All of these three smartphones comes with a telephoto lens. They have different focal length, but OnePlus 10 Pro doesn't use its telephoto lens. It uses its main sensor and then applies digital crop-in. Oppo Find X5 Pro and Xiaomi 12 Pro uses their 2x telephoto lens. We have talked about color grading, white balance and saturation in previous segment. Things are almost the same in portrait photos. Xiaomi 12 Pro and Oppo Find X5 Pro has increased saturation while OnePlus 10 Pro has dropped saturation. All of these three smartphones have processed photos with beauty effect by default, but skin tone on Oppo Find X5 Pro has got worse. Subject detection is almost similar, it's a flagship class in portrait photos of these three smartphones. Generally, OnePlus 10 Pro is leading the way with more detail on the subject, better separation between subject and background, while Xiaomi 12 Pro edge detection is the worst among these three. Let's talk about quality. Xiaomi 12 Pro has more detail, better exposure and better color tone mapping, while OnePlus 10 Pro portrait photos are very soft. Sometimes, shadow is way too low. Oppo Find X5 Pro has processed all the colors perfectly, but when it comes to skin tone, it has added heavy yellow tone. I'm not sure whether this is intentional or Oppo will try to fix this with a new update. I must say, this is frustrating. If Oppo fix this skin tone issue and improve its exposure, then Find X5 Pro will be the best. But now I have to give the portrait crown to Xiaomi 12 Pro. 
OnePlus 10 Pro Portrait Mode is the best example of how performance may get worse with new update. It's time for nighttime videos. These video clips were recorded in 4K 30 frames per second. I am amazed by the performance of Oppo Find X5 Pro. Cause Oppo has been touting about its Murray Silicon and night video performance for a while. Wow, how great it is, isn't it? In reality, there is nothing impressive. It's even worse than its predecessors. I don't know, maybe with an update they can fix it. OnePlus 10 Pro has slightly better exposure. On top of it, OnePlus 10 Pro color rendition is better than the other two. Noise, grains, stabilization, brightness, and contrast ratio. Everything seems to be a bit better on OnePlus 10 Pro. Xiaomi 12 Pro stabilization is also very good. Xiaomi 12 Pro has also processed more detail with sharper textures. However, it falls behind with poor shadow. If I have to select a winner for night video, then I would select OnePlus 10 Pro, but Xiaomi 12 Pro came very close. Actually, depending on your personal preferences, you may choose any of these two for nighttime videography. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot, I get... I know, most of the people would like to watch this ahead of anything else. Night mode comparison of the monsters. All of these three smartphones comes with flagship class main sensor. These smartphones should perform like a beast in their environment. Different people have different ideas about night mode photos, and I have my own way to check night mode photos. If you are subscribed to this channel, then you may know about DENS. Well, before we talk about that, I will let you quickly go through some night mode photos. I am truly amazed, at the same time surprised. Really, the photos you are watching in this comparison are the hand-picked ones out of almost 100 photos. In most of the photos, performance seems to be similar, but as usual, there are differences. Let's talk about DENS. Detail, exposure, noise, and shadow. Generally, all three have managed to grab enough detail, but Xiaomi is slightly ahead. I have to mention Oppo Find X5 Pro most of the time has better exposure, while OnePlus 10 Pro has better noise removing algorithm. However, I am truly surprised to see Xiaomi 12 Pro in some occasions has done even better. Shadow detail is very similar, there is no way to judge one better than the other. Overall, a very tough task to select a winner. But after doing a lot of nitpicking, after checking white balance, color tone, dynamic range, and detail, I think Xiaomi 12 Pro is the winner, cause it has grabbed more detail, rendered colors with perfection. Oppo Find X5 Pro and OnePlus 10 Pro both have done well in different occasions, but lacks consistency. Time for nighttime zoom photos. Oppo Find X5 Pro performance is a perfect example of inconsistency. Sometimes it has performed way better, and sometimes it has performed way worse than OnePlus and Xiaomi. All these are 5 times zoom photos. In general, OnePlus 10 Pro has done better than the other two as it has consistently delivered quality photos. OnePlus has continued to dominate the other two with more detail, better shadow, better color grading, and better exposure. Personally, I don't take a lot of selfie photos, so I have asked Nancy to take a lot of selfie photos. All of these three smartphones have applied beauty effect. Oppo and OnePlus has applied similar type of beauty effect, while Xiaomi went a bit too far. Skin tone and color rendition on Xiaomi 12 Pro is slightly worse than Oppo and OnePlus. I should say, it's bizarre. I truly don't understand why Xiaomi 12 Pro has increased contrast and dropped highlights. Oppo Find X5 Pro selfie photos got better skin tone, but lower shadow and soft textures is an issue. OnePlus 10 Pro selfie photos are ready to be uploaded on Instagram or on any other social media platforms. It has better shadow, sharper textures, more detail, but skin tone is brighter than usual and colors are slightly saturated. Nancy has taken more than 25 selfie photos. After checking all the photos, 
I'm truly convinced OnePlus 10 Pro selfie photos looks much better than Oppo Find X5 Pro or Xiaomi 12 Pro, but depending on your personal preference, you may go with Oppo Find X5 Pro as it has reproduced natural skin tone. Let's check these pictures carefully. I have noticed this trend on Xiaomi 12 Pro, it has something to do with the color yellow. It always saturates yellow, while OnePlus does the opposite, always tries out the color yellow. I don't know why, but this really is an issue. I must say, this is frustrating and at the same time, I'm surprised to see Oppo Find X5 Pro got it almost correct. Also, after checking a few indoor photos, I have noticed Oppo Find X5 Pro indoor photos resembles a Vivo and Aiko flagship smartphone's color tone, which is very surprising because Vivo and Aiko runs on a different OS than Oppo. I have no problem to accept and I won't hesitate to say Oppo Find X5 Pro has one of the best color grading in indoor photos. I mean, as long as there is no human subject in the frame. In general, Xiaomi seems to have better exposure while OnePlus 10 Pro has produced vibrant and eye-pleasing indoor photos. If you like natural, more accurate but less eye-pleasing photos, then Oppo is the winner of indoor photos. If you like vibrant and eye-pleasing photos, then you may choose OnePlus while Xiaomi would provide a touch of both of these too. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts that pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. Well, after watching through this video, what do you think? Which one is the best? Oppo Find X5 Pro or OnePlus 10 Pro? Or do you think Xiaomi 12 Pro is slightly better than the other two? Please make a comment and let me know in the comment section below if you are looking for a verdict. Okay, let me be clear. I think Oppo Find X5 Pro should do better than the other two because this one comes with better hardware. But considering what Xiaomi has done with this Xiaomi 12 Pro, I mean with new updates and I believe after one or two more updates, this one will become a monster. But considering hardware, current performance and option for future updates, I think I will select this Oppo Find X5 Pro. But if you consider the price, then definitely I'm gonna go with Xiaomi 12 Pro because this one offers the best value for money. Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Subscription button and like button is over there. Subscribe to this channel and share the love.